Well, here we are, it's EVW 2020, and uh, meeting a lot of interesting people from all over the globe. And I have Elizabeth Filippulli with me. Welcome. It's really nice good to, to be you. with you. And you have taken on something incredibly vast, and that's trying to get all the parts of the world talking to each other, right? Very true, yes. Engage them in a conversation. <laughs> How is that going? Really well. <laughs> <laughs> the Global Thinkers Forum, and my understanding is you have, what, six or eight countries involved now, or maybe more. Actually, uh, we have a presence in five countries, but okay. through our partnerships, we are in 18 countries. Okay. I was <laughs> so, close, I was like right yeah. in the middle there. <laughs> and what does that mean? What are you trying to get... What is Global Thinkers Forum? What are you trying to accomplish among the countries? Well, we focus on three areas. Accountable leadership, women empowerment, and youth development. And everything comes under the mantra that we need to help our leaders understand mm -hmm. that this is not someone else's business. This is theirs and our business. Okay. And the business is to create a better world and to be more responsible and more accountable towards our societies, because this is a world that is changing rapidly, mm -hmm. and the transformations that are happening are profound, mm -hmm. and we need to make sure that our leaders and the leaders of tomorrow understand that, and there's a lot of power to be had among women. Yeah, I already figured out that you're very smart. If we're going to get the world talking, let's get the women to do it, and youth. Let's, you know, there's a generation here that's not going to figure it out, right? Yeah. Let's start when they're younger. Exactly, because okay. it's all about education. And education has to begin, and knowledge exchange has to begin from a very young age. And the power of, of mentoring and helping young people, I think that this is something that we have to look into and we have to spread the word about and we need to create role models that will, will get the young people into this transforming world, well equipped with the necessary knowledge and the necessary confidence to deal with things. Can you give us an example, Elizabeth, of like, what's like the most pressing issue right now that you need them talking about? I think that the most pressing issue right now is economic and political instability. So number one, we have this migration wave which is coming through Europe, mm -hmm. and uh, not stopping in Europe, but also coming to the US. And it is such a massive transformation that, that our societies are witnessing and are going to experience in the next decades because of that, that we have not realized the, the necessity and the imminence of changing our policies. The governments need to introduce new policies they need to understand that these people who are moving into new countries, they bring new skills, mm -hmm. they bring a number of assets, and they are in need of work, and they are ready to bring this new knowledge to those countries. So the mechanisms need to change. And at the same time, we have this economic and political instability, which is to a great extent um, a result of the globalization of terrorism. So what we are promoting with Global Thinkers Forum is better understanding among cultures, creating more opportunities for people to join hands, understand that they can promote prosperity and progress through collaboration. Okay. Now, when I look at these list of countries, and there's five that you mentioned, why, why not more? Is it just... Is it that hard to get the conversation started? No. No? We are a very young organization. <laughs> okay. We launched in 2012. Okay. Uh, we are London-based. Uh, and we launched in Jordan under the patronage of Queen Rania, who is a very, very liberal and very pioneering and uh, very open-minded leader, doing a lot of work for her own country but for the region, mm -hmm. which is a very hot region, as we know. And so it was a great privilege for us that she embraced the work of Global Thinkers Forum. So for a young organization to be in five countries within four years, mm -hmm. and actually in 18 countries through partnerships, is, is quite an achievement. It is. And I, I, and I, um, 
I think one of the things I found about you is you're trying to use technology to get them communicating too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it literally is an online forum of discussion. Is this stuff, like, does that have to, is that a security problem? No, uh, we have a dual model. So we have the physical meetings, which we think are very, very important because it is, it is critical for people to get to meet each other, for the chemistry to build, mm -hmm. for genuine relationships to develop. So we are creating physical meetings, and we also have programs that are online, like our mentoring platform, which help us access a wider audience and bring into the conversation a wider audience. But it is, it is very much a part of the work that we do to create those meetings that will bring people together and will enable youth to, to be part of this knowledge generation. Do you get the sense that, um, and tell me what age range you're talking about when you say youth. Um, 1829 for the mentoring program. Are, are they more socially conscious than the rest of us? When you say socially conscious, you mean? Meaning uh, th they want this global dialogue. They want resolve. They want. Yes. They, are they better about it? And they are very thirsty for knowledge. And, and, and they want to, to find opportunities f to also help their countries, which is very, very impressive. When we receive the applications and the letters, because, I mean, we have a very strict process of, of screening and vetting and selecting our mentees in mm -hmm. particular, because the people who attend the, the forum, they are very welcome, anyone can attend. But when it comes to our programs, we are being very selective. And people who apply, young people who, are, who apply, they mention as a first priority the need to learn in order to convey this new knowledge to their societies and bring about positive change in their own countries. Makes sense to me. Now, I saw um, in some information about the Global Thinkers Forum. You have clients. You have businesses that you work with. So how does that relationship work? You, you get businesses to... to to have a social conscious and then to, to help facilitate this as part of their agenda? Yes, yes. Okay, can you give me any examples of that that have, have worked sure, since you started this? Sure, sure. Uh, well, we help companies, for example, embrace diversity. We help companies understand uh, the importance of introducing a collective set of values and get them to, to see that their employees are human beings. The, the companies need not uh, be mindful about their profits, but also be mindful about the wider ecosystem yeah. and about engaging all stakeholders. Okay. And this is very often, as you know, a challenge even for very, very big companies. Yeah, how do you get them to do that? How do you get them to think that way? I mean, is it a curriculum? Is it just speaking to them about it? Is, I, I don't understand. It's a number of initiatives. Okay. So speaking to them about it, uh, coaching them, uh, measuring the amount of what we call cultural disorder or absence of collective values. Do you sometimes go in and, and set up, a, let's, let's have a plan. By 2018, yes. we hope to have this much diversity? Yes, oh. yes. Uh, benchmarking is very, very important. So okay. we measure what is going on, and then we set some goals and some benchmarks, and we make sure that we meet them. And it's a diversity, I mean, it's a wide variety of initiatives because each and every country is different. Right. And the local issues, be it economical or political or cultural, need to be taken into account. Yeah. So you work in a different, with a different approach with a company that is a UAE company and a different approach with a Nigerian company or a UK company. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know, I'm very curious too about what brought you here to San Antonio, Texas uh, for EBW 2020 or IB Club get together. I mean, you're a, you're a keynote speaker and and you're here to learn too. It seems so. Absolutely. What? Yeah. What? What's the connection? How'd you end up here? What do you hope to take away from it? And then, what's your plan after you leave here with this with these new connections and information? There is this powerhouse <laughs> called Ingrid Vanderbilt. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and it is thanks to her that uh, I'm here. 
Um, I'm very impressed with Ingrid and her work, and I have great respect for what she is as a person, mm -hmm. as a businesswoman, as a human being. So the opportunity that she has created for women who are successful, ambitious, and willing to step outside their comfort zones in order to succeed in their goals in life and also create positive change on the world. I think that what she has done with the Ivy Club and this weekend is, is remarkable to say the least. So I feel very privileged to be part of this. Okay. Um, I'm curious, can you leave us with a, a, a shining example of something that your global forum where you go, I'm so proud that we, we, we got this started or, you know, or, or we managed to get this country and this country to agree on something. Is there something that you're just, you're most proud of since you launched? I'm very proud because Global Thinkers Forum has managed to attract not only the attention, but the endorsement of international leaders and thought leaders who perhaps had not met before under the umbrella of a concept like Global Thinkers Forum. So we're bringing them into the conversation and holding them accountable for their actions and for what they are willing and ready to do to make this world a better place. So the global diversity that the Global Thinkers Forum has introduced and this international conversation uh, are the two elements that make me most proud of what we have achieved. Well, very cool. It's great to meet you. Great and to meet and you I love too. what you're doing with uh, Global Thinkers Forum and uh, hopefully more ongoing with EBW 2020? Yes, absolutely. You're in, you're in the club. Yes, yes, I'm in the club from day one. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and we have a lot of things to do. We have achieved a lot, again, in a very short time frame. And it is not easy. It takes All a lot right. of passion and a lot of will and more to be done. So stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you.